Friends, today is Monday, the 16th of November, and it's a Monday, and so it's my day off, and I'm in my room uh, at my desk doing a little bit of work, a uh, very kind of dull and dreary day. But we have beautiful, a beautiful gospel today. You know, Jesus in the Gospel of Luke, these days has been on a journey, a journey from Galilee south to Jerusalem. And he's approaching Jericho in our gospel today, approaching Jericho, which is about 12 miles, 12 miles from Jerusalem. So he's getting close. And as he approaches Jericho, a, he meets a blind man, a blind man, a blind man who calls out to him in a very intimate kind of way, Jesus of Nazareth. He said, Jesus, son of David, recognize Jesus as a king. Jesus, son of David, have pity on me, have mercy on me. Have mercy, that tender mercy that Jesus has come to show from the prophet Isaiah. The mission that Jesus has to show the tender mercy of God and one aspect of that tender mercy is to bring sight to the blind, to bring sight to the blind. But always respectful, Jesus doesn't presume that's what this blind person wants, but he asked him basically, what, what is it that I can do for you? What do you want me to do for you? And the man says, Lord, please let me see. Lord, please let me see. And Jesus immediately says, have sight, have sight. Your faith, your faith has saved you. And the man uh, immediately can see. And he doesn't stay by the side of the road or run off. Rather, it says, he followed him. After he had received his sight, he became a disciple. He followed Jesus. And the indication is that the man received more than just a physical healing, but a spiritual healing as well. You know, oftentimes in the Gospels, a physical blindness is a symbol of spiritual blindness. Physical blindness, I can't see. Well, it means more than just physical. There may be a spiritual blindness too. When the fathers of the church read this parable, they indicated that spiritual side of the blindness. Reading the passage, they said that only with the power and the presence of Jesus only with the power and the presence of Jesus are we able to see the world aright. A spiritual blindness, that only with the power and the presence of Jesus can we see the world aright. You know, in a sense we are blind to our own blindness. We convince ourselves that we're not sinners. We're blind. We're blind to our own blindness. And only with the power and the presence of Christ can we break through that to see. Sometimes the most important step in advancing in the spiritual life is a kind of awakening, a kind of opening our eyes. We are sleeping. We don't see properly. We don't see spiritually, we don't see physically. And an awakening is sometimes the most important part of our spiritual development, to finally wake up and to see, and to see the world clearly, to see the world clearly. You know, perhaps the best and most beautiful illustration of this awakening to the spiritual life, an awakening to a person's inner sense, awakening perhaps to one's own sinfulness, given to us by Dante, Dante in his wonderful Divine Comedy, and the first part of that, the opening of it, which uh, is the his entry into, um, what shall we say, um, well, just an awakening into uh, he has to move through hell and then purgatory and into heaven. 
In the very beginning, the Inferno, it opens this way with these words. Midway, midway, on the journey of our life, I awoke, I awoke, to find myself alone in a dark wood, having wandered from the straight path. I awoke to find myself alone in a dark wood, having wandered from the straight path. And the journey in Dante in the Divine Comedy from the Inferno to the Purgatorio to, to heaven itself, Paradiso, is the journey of discovery. Dante is led by his spirit and uh, through the various rings of hell into purgatory and begins to see himself and to see himself clearly and letting that grace of God break through. And sometimes when that grace breaks through, it can be a harrowing kind of moment for us because we have a kind of hard shell around us so that our defensive shell has to be broken and our self-defensiveness broken as well. All of that, in a sense, in this story of healing, a miracle story of the blind man at Jericho, who himself receives sight, sees the world clearly, but also sees himself clearly, and in turn becomes a disciple. Hold that thought and we'll see you tomorrow.